In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this easy visual effect for your videos in DaVinci Resolve. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and grab your footage and place it into the timeline. For this example, I'm going to be showing you a screen recording of my YouTube channel. I'm just scrolling down, looking through the feed, through my videos, nothing too crazy. The next thing that you want to do is click on the fusion in the middle and your screen should look something like this. If it doesn't look like this, it might look with only one screen, which is okay. You just want to go to the top right and click on viewer and now you should be able to have two screens next you want to go to the right side of this yellow arrow and just left click so it could detach now we are going to be adding some nodes the easiest way to do this is by clicking on median one and holding shift space you are going to be seeing like the select tool option we want to search for image plane 3d next without touching anything click on shift space and search for merge 3d which should be the third one right here and same thing without clicking anything let's go for shift space and search for render oops 3d you should be able to see four nodes connecting to each other which is what we want to see we we still need one more and in order to add this you just want to click on the empty space and left click and same thing shift space and search for camera 3d you want to grab this great box in the right hand side of the node and just attach it to the merge 3d now you might not see anything in the screens which is okay in order to go ahead and enable it you want to go to your merge 3d and click on the left view it should look something like this which could be overwhelming but trust me guys i would try to make this as easy as possible on render 3d instead of clicking on the left view we want to click on the right view and if you did it correctly you should be seeing this like pattern checkered background this checkered background basically means that the screen is transparent and that's going to be the output of the video we haven't messed with any of the settings this is why it looks like this but hopefully by the end of the tutorial you shouldn't be able to see any pattern background on camera 3d you want to click on transform in the inspector tab and on your z you want to just like right slide and that's where your footage should appear so depending on your preference just zoom in somewhere where you think it's going to be a good spot so for my liking i'm going to put it right here next to my name and you could adjust your x and your y if you want it to look a little bit slanted click on rotation right here on the y and just click it like on the left so like i said just mess with this i'm going to do this right away and it should look something like this now make sure you are in frame zero or in frame one if you don't know just click on right here one and voila this is going to be frame one now we are going to mess with the keyframes now so right here we go click on the keyframes and this is what is going to be like this like little animation now i'm just going to hover where i think it's going to be the best fit so this is where i'm already like scrolling down correct right here i'm actually going to be zooming out so i'm going to click on the z and zoom out a bit if i zoom out too much i might have this transparent background which i don't want so i need to zoom in a little bit more and just play around with the likings of these settings perfect so i was already messing with these settings now it looks something like this and this is a part where i'm just scrolling correct now i'm scrolling back back to the top of my youtube channel now once again i'm going to zoom in a little bit more now what i just did i just did some movement of this visual i kept the everything into frame so you wouldn't see no background like checkered pattern and i just added keyframes to this so if i just skip around you're gonna see the initial on my youtube channel then i zoomed out a bit you see the footage which is nice and slowly but surely you see back on my youtube logo which is the cacho films logo it might be a little bit complicated but trust me guys as long as you guys do keyframes everything should be good in place now if you play it back it might be a little bit laggy you might not notice but it could be kind of 
robotic -y kind of choppy which we don't want that right we want our footage to be as smooth as it can be so on spline you want to click on this and you're not going to see anything which is going to be kind of weird but if you click on camera 3d you're going to see a whole bunch of crazy notes to make this as easy as i can for you you want to click on zoom to fit and it's going to zoom into all the key frames that you just did into one little screen you want to go ahead and grab every keyframe as possible which i'm pretty sure that's pretty much it and in your keyboard click on f you see these splines right here that's what makes the effect look as smooth as possible now whenever you're done with this you want to go into your render 3d and attach it to media out finally you want to go to your edit and that's where you could go ahead and see your masterpiece so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys here Take this ice.